Our prayers for today will be said in parts or petitions, each of which will end with the words, Let us pray. I invite you to join in the response, Have mercy, O God. Guided by Christ made known to the nations, let us offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all people in need. For the church, for ministries of healing and wholeness, for hospital, hospice, and military chaplains, for those serving in prison ministry, for all who proclaim freedom and release in the name of Christ, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. For creation, for clouds on the mountaintops, for cattle, for the rainwater that they drink, for the humility to take our place among all creatures of the earth, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. For the nations, for all who lead in cities and towns, states and countries, for community organizers, school officials, and CEOs, for international health organizations that, in times of trial, fear, or hopelessness, they find freedom in service to those most in need, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. For all wearied by life's burdens, for those who are poor, those lacking supportive relationships, for those crushed by debt, for those struggling with chronic pain or other sickness, for those exhausted from overwork or stress, and for all who cry out to you, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. For this congregation, for outreach and social ministry centered here, for parish nurses and visitors, for ministries of companionship and support, for young people in this place who open us to new understandings, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. In thanksgiving, for the faithful departed, who were called by name and now rest from their labors, that their lives serve as witnesses to the goodness of you, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people, spoken or silent, for the sake of the one who dwells among us, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. <laughs> 